Hi, right, welcome back again. And now uh, let's look at uh, if we can convert the given data into a binomial form. Well, we go back with the same data we have seen in the discrete uh, probability distribution. That's the uh, rain data. We had rain or we did not have rain. Oh, yeah. So now look at this outcome. The outcomes are only uh, two possible outcomes. You either have rain or you have no rain. So that itself means that it's binomial, which means only two possibilities that can happen. So when you convert into binomial data, you only look at whether there was rain or no rain on a particular day, and we are not bothered about the number of weeks or any other criteria. Because here, the outcome is only on two possibilities, rain or no rain. So we will have to now count up the total number of possibilities uh, for each of them. So I just take the total of uh, the rain data and the no rain. That's about totally 56 uh, is what I should have. Because uh, I've collected data for about eight weeks, seven days, seven eights or 56 total data points. Out of 56 observations, uh, let's say for me, if success, is rain. For me, success is having rain. So then how many days of rain do I have? I have 24 days of rain over total 56 observations. So this is my pi. My probability of success or the you know chance of having a rain on any given day is 0.42. chance it could rain. Obviously, uh, the success or success is no rain. Or if we look at the failure, rate of failure, that is uh, no rain, will be equal to 32 over 56, 47%, 57%, sorry. So this would be the, uh, uh, you know, finding out the binomial probability or converting a collected data into a binomial form. Well, in this case, it was kind of very easy because, you know, we had the data itself as binomial data. Supposing I have a data like this. Say I've collected the age of people in a particular place. Or I went to a mall. I just collected the uh, uh, ages of a few people. About 25 uh, people I have collected the ages. Now, age uh, is considered to be kind of a continuous variable. Now, how do I con convert a continuous variable like this into a binomial form? Now, in that case, you will have to define the binomial event. So, I define the event as young or not young, which is old. Now, how do you define this young and old? So, my criteria is that less than 30 years is young, and of course the opposite. If you are greater than 30 years, then you become what is called as old. So there are only two possible uh, outcomes of this criteria. Either you are young or classified as old, and that is based on your age, which is either less than 30 or more than 30. Now this 30 is a fixed point for us. So now, how do I get it from this particular data? I will use the same count function. So count, in this case, I have to count if for a given condition. Count if what I collect or take the whole uh, data set. Take the data set, that's the range. And what's my criteria? The condition is if you are uh, more than uh, 30. If you are more than 30, I classify you as old. So this is old, which means more than 30. You are old. So there are 19 people who are old. So obviously the remaining should be young. Let's anyway just check it using the same function. Count if for the same range of data. Come on. Now my condition is you are less than, right? 31. More than 30, less than 31 means 30 is included as young. Okay, so in that case, that's about six people. So total, this is young. Mm -hmm. 
plus 10, 30. So if I get the total, uh, 19 plus 6 is 25 samples. Okay. So this is how we convert or, you know, try to uh, make some changes to the data so that we understand uh, or able to use and apply various probability distributions. So in this case, uh, the probability of success, if I say is to find a young person, so then my probability of success here is equal to 6 out of total 25 people. So 25% chance that any person I meet is going to be young. So this is the value of my pi, which is the probability of success. That's how we convert the data. So this should help you in using, uh, you know, collected data to be translated into uh, understanding of probability uh, distributions for finding out expected values, etc. Uh, more applicable with accounting, finance and quality functions to understand the chance of occurrence of a particular variable, even in HR. So you could find out how many people left an organization and how many people remain. Or you could classify people as, uh, you know, loyal, non-loyal. So what is the chance of somebody being loyal? So you can apply these ideas. Thank you.